I, I have to just say, I just came back from um, Kentucky, Virginia, and West Virginia. Uh, I've done a lot of coverage of, of movements there, particularly labor. And I come back to this spot with that <coughs> picture in my mind of the last week spent in coal country, uh, where you see writ really large, and on the landscape both of the, the, the land and of the people's bodies, um, these issues that we're talking about, about labor, control, capital, and frankly change, the future. Um, there you see the impact of monopoly industry, coal and minerals. You see the impact of monopoly organizing, the UMWA. I covered the Pittston strike when I was 12, I think, <laughs> in 1989. <laughs> and the atmosphere there of solidarity was palpable. You knew which side you were on. You knew which side the other guy was on. Everybody was mobilized. It was a fight that was a community fight, a cultural fight, a political fight around much more than just a job and much more than just today's workers. It was about yesterday's workers and your grandparents and tomorrow. And the guy that I just met in Lynch, Kentucky, talked about how he decided to go and stay in the, in the mines underground even though he hated the work because he wanted to work on the health and safety committee after he lost three fingers and wanted to make sure that that didn't happen again. And then he went and worked on the city council to make sure that there would be jobs for, chil for, the, for the children. And now he's working to try to bring in tourism so that there'll be jobs for his grandchildren. That sense of continuity is palpable. Um, but so too today is the sense of loss. That industry isn't there in the same way. It's not the fate of God. It's not caused by God or caused by technology, but choices. That union is no longer there in the same way and has made some odd choices about how to relate to the community in agreeing to participate in the blowing up of the landscape, literally. Um, so you have, I like to think of it as trans-Appalachia, and it's always trans places are interesting places, and it's a tr community in transition with incredible ideas bubbling up, and yet a power structure that is almost impermeable, a power structure that it's going to take all of us to work with our friends in Appalachia to change the future there in terms of power, control, leverage, who has it.